Friends, today is Friday, the 20th of November. <clears throat> and you can see we're in the cathedral, just finished our celebration of the Eucharist, and um, I have my camera facing east this morning because it's a beautiful day and the sun is coming up and shining through our beautiful windows. Nice to have a sunny day. Our gospel today is the cleansing of the temple, the cleansing of the temple of Jerusalem. You know, we've been following Jesus and his disciples on that journey, that journey from Galilee in the north to Jerusalem in the south. And today, Jesus enters into the city, the city where he will meet his death and bring about the redemption of all humanity. Yesterday, Jesus was on the Mount of Olives, and the Mount of Olives is right at the city wall of Jerusalem, a very short distance from the Mount of Olives. So Jesus comes down that little Mount of Olives and enters into the city, and the temple is just very close to the entry from this direction. And Jesus immediately goes to the temple the temple which is so, so important to Israel and to Judaism, a place where God meets humanity, where divinity meets humanity, where God's presence is for the people of Israel. And we can't underestimate the importance of the temple to Israel and to Judaism at the time. The temple was the center of the economic and political and religious life of the people. It was considered in many ways uh, something similar to what we would consider our tabernacle and our little Eucharistic uh, Blessed Sacrament Chapel in the cathedral. It was where God dwelt. The presence of God was in the temple. And uh, thus, in the, the, the temple itself, we say that uh, as in Jesus, humanity and divinity come together. And we can't underestimate the importance of that. However, the prophets, for example, the prophet Ezekiel said that God no longer dwelt in the temple because the sins of the people had perverted the temple itself. And thus, the awaiting of the Messiah, one of the aspects of that waiting for the Messiah, was that the, it would be the temple would be purified and cleansed. And thus, Jesus, entering into the temple, the great temple mount in Jerusalem, the first thing he does is he begins to cleanse it, saying, my house shall be a house of prayer. The words of the prophet my house shall be a house of prayer, but the people have turned it into a den of thieves. And thus the prophetic action of Jesus, recognizing that the temple, the temple ultimately would be destroyed. And he predicts that, destroy this temple, and in three days I will build it up. Even as the prophets, Prophet Jeremiah, for example, predicted the destruction of the first temple in the sixth century before Christ, that it too would be destroyed. And the people carried off to Babylon in that first great wave of um, exiles. And today, Jesus, uh, in his prophetic way as Messiah, the one who is to come, cleanses, at least symbolically, that temple, driving out the money changers and all the animals and so on. The cleansing of the temple, uh, what does that mean for us? We need to recognize that when we move into Christianity and the destruction of the temple of Jerusalem, that Jesus becomes the new temple, the new temple in his body where humanity and divinity come together and where his sacrifice, not the sacrifice of animals in the temple, but his own sacrifice, his own death, becomes our redemption and freedom from sin. 
But you know, St. Paul, when he speaks of temples, he speaks of us, that we, each of us, become temples of the Holy Spirit. Now, what is that temple like? Does it too need that cleansing? Does it need the cleansing? What kind of cleansing does our own temple need to make a fitting dwelling for the Lord? You know, with Jesus as the new temple, all of us are a part of the body of Christ. So all of us together are those places where the Holy Spirit dwells. And we need to be a fitting place, not a perverted place, not a place that needs cleansing, but a clean and holy and beautiful place for the Holy Spirit. And so the reading today, the cleansing of the temple, it's kind of a reminder <clears throat> for all of us to take a good look, take a good look at ourselves. What kind of cleaning do we need? Hold that thought <clears throat> and we'll see you tomorrow.